is Kayla, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 2006, my friend Teresa introduced me to her cousin, Martel. He's like the love of my life. Me and him been dating 13 long ass years. I met Martel before he was incarcerated, and he liked me more than I liked him, and over time, you know, we became friends, and then it kind of went from there. Martel was sentenced to 25 years that turned into 13 for drugs possession. I'm extremely close to my family, but I just recently moved here to Atlanta for Martel's release. I don't think my family agrees, but you know, I do. I feel like everyone is a human, and I also feel like everyone sometimes like makes the wrong choice, but it just doesn't define who they are. So I wasn't worried about it. Look at this. And what is this? Tell me if you like that. Wow. <laughs> what is this? It's the ring that I would want. You like it? Yeah, I like this. Nice. I think it's like three carats. Who's going to pay for that? Um, he will. I can't buy my own ring. The weirdest part of dating a convict is not having that like one-on-one -on -one in person time. That was definitely the weirdest part to me. Y'all plan like what the first thing you're gonna do? When he gets out? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to the hotel. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. Could be we get in the room and just jump on each other. You know what I mean? That could very well be it. Or in the car or in the parking lot. Uh, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so we get a little sticky. Around the time when I was like, okay, yes, I do love him. He had like had one of the inmates like make this flower out of like toilet paper or something. And it was so cute. And they had drew like a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse like kissing on like a cardboard thing. It was so cool. I'm like, oh, he loves me, you know? <laughs> but it was super cute.